Uncle Andy's Cats by James Warhola. Uncle Andy said it all started with a little blue pussycat named Hester. She was just a kitty when I got her from a fabulous movie star called Gloria. Little Hester just loved Uncle Andy's house. It was tall and skinny and perfect for dashing up and down the stairs and hiding among the antiques. The only time Hester was still was when she was staring at Grandma Bubba's minor bird, Echo. On our visits to Uncle Andy's, we would look and look but still couldn't find little Hester. Little Hester grew and grew and grew and became Big Hester. Uncle Andy and Bubba thought Hester was lonely. That's when they decided to get Sam. It was love at first sight. <laughs> oh, they're having a lot of fun, aren't they? And they even snuggle together. Oh, look, there's Uncle Andy. Uncle Andy enjoyed Sam and Hester's company when he painted late at night in his studio. And when it was bedtime, the cat's favorite spot was Uncle Andy's wig drawer. That makes sense. They probably felt like they were with their mommy. On one visit, there were kittens. Lots and lots of kittens. Uncle Andy said, it's so marvelous. Hester is now a mommy. Bubba said they all look like their papa. Let's so let's name them each Sam. Holy mackerel. That's that's what the kid is exclaiming. That means like wow. It's an old fashioned way to go, whoa. The little Sams loved their tall skinny house too. That looks like a neat place to explore, doesn't it? The only time we ever saw all the Sams was when Bubba called them for their favorite meal, oatmeal and liver. Holy smoke. That's what the kids are saying. They're seeing, looking at all those cats eating. Uncle Andy said that Sam's said that the Sam's liked us best when we were sleeping, and I think Uncle Andy did too. That's funny. Look at those beds. Their Bubba made them. This guy's got a board up on paint cans. And all these little baby Sam's. This one's stretched out over his legs. This one's pouncing. These are climbing. <laughs> we always loved snooping around at Uncle Andy's, and one day we got another surprise. Hester and Sam were a mommy and daddy again. Holy macaroni! That kid says funny things. 
holy mackerel, holy smoke, holy macaroni so far. Look at this proud papa. The kittens all look just like their daddy, so they were also named Sam, and that made for a whole lot of Sams. Look at those Sams in the windows, and on the roof, and on the chimneys. Oh my goodness. That's funny to see a house with that many cats, isn't it? Whoa, look at Uncle Andy. <laughs> Uncle Andy was sometimes interrupted when he heard of Sam's, when a herd of Sam's would stampede through his studio. A herd is like all of them at once. <laughs> and the neighbors were interrupted when Sam's would, would sneak up to the roof. That's funny. The Sam's love to rumble among my uncle's soup boxes. That was a famous artwork of his uncle Andy. At the end of a long day, they found that sleeping in Uncle Andy's room was very comfortable. Nope, oh, there they are. All snuggled in. <laughs> Look at this guy on his back. Wow, we poor Echo. Now Bubba and Echo had a little bit too much company. Andy, there are just too many Sams, Bubba told him, but Uncle Andy didn't know what to do. We brought three Sams home with us, but that didn't work out too well when they wouldn't come down from the roof. Oh boy. Holy cat. <laughs> He's at it again. Oh, look at this doggy being so good with all those cats that came to their house. Finally, Uncle Andy had a plan. Uncle Andy and Bubba drew and painted the most marvelous portraits of Hester's and the Sam's. After many days of working, the art was finally ready to be sent to the printer. Uncle Andy and Bubba each created a fabulous book. Uncle Andy's was called 25 Cats Named Sam and One Blue Pussy, and Bubba named hers Holy Cats. The books were a huge hit, and the Sams became famous overnight. Everybody wanted a Sam. They came from uptown and downtown to get a Sam. Ah, that bird is happy now, not being stared at. <laughs> There's two kitties in the window though. In no time at all, things were just about back to normal. And that made Uncle Andy and Bubba very, very pleased.
as it turned out, Hester and Sam were just the right amount of cats for their tall, skinny house. Holy moly, she said, <laughs> as she saw the kitty cats in the window. Look at all those mice. Now that there's not all those 25 cats chasing them around. That's funny. Well, that was a really cool book. Let's take a minute to look at all these pictures of Sam. So all these different Sams look a lot alike, but they also look really different. Do you notice that? This one is drawn with wings. This one has a tiny head and a big old body. This one's kind of kind of bony. This one's really beautiful. Silhouette. It's really quite interesting to look at all the different shapes of these cats. We'll talk more about that later. But I wanted you to meet Uncle Andy's cats. Thank you.